Okay, this is for Granddad. I'm sorry I'm so late getting back to you guys, but I've been really, really busy with family matters lately. It's just consumed my time. I've, I hadn't had much time to do anything but play with a little toy, things like that, and this thing over here. Made out of cardboard stock, which was a lot of fun, but this was the video for today. It was Here's a pulse motor, one of my low-amp pulse motors running on a lemon battery which is a uh, magnesium and copper and granddad's back into these homemade batteries now and he's having a lot of fun with them and i happen to have a lemon tree in my backyard and i posed the question to um, granddad what if i plugged in these electrodes into a growing lemon that's first started out green and let it grow how long would it run and his comment was, well, you might poison the tree. And so I kind of backed away from that. But I don't know. Maybe if I, I found one on a remote branch, I could uh, run that experiment with a growing uh, lemon. But let me show you what I've got out here. You get a kick out of this. I live in California. And one thing we've got here is a lot of sun. And uh, it makes great uh, videos for solar projects because you've got a lot of power uh, not much wind here just uh, sun but this is what I've got going on look at that thing that's a lemon tree and uh, usually it, it produces almost year-round and look at all these things and I wonder how many kilowatts of power I could pull out of my tree if I plugged in electrodes into my tree what can I power with it and I've also got an orange tree over here, too. And those are oranges, California uh, naval oranges. They're real good. But I just, uh, I just wonder, if you started a, a lemon battery when it first started growing, as it grew, just how long would it grow before it would die, or how long would it produce power? But uh, I don't want to hurt this tree. This tree's been in my family for... 50 years. It's been a long, 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 long producing tree. And the ground is just right and the sun is just right. So we have a, a fruit almost year round. So anyway, that's just something that uh, I wanted to share was the uh, prospect of starting a, a citrus fruit battery while the citrus fruit was growing and then just seeing how long it would run. I don't know might be very short-lived but anyway this thing here I don't think it's gonna run a long time and what happens is the electrolyte down here neutralizes and uh, builds up the uh, corrosion deposits on the magnesium and the thing slowly slows down and stop but at least um, it's running long enough to do this video and that is a uh, a lemon battery powered uh, motor uh, these other ones I'm playing with, um, actually I'm having a lot more fun with these than anything else, making these little uh, cardboard uh, motors out of uh, cardboard. But that was the experiment for today. Thanks for watching.